from uh, Japan comes what's probably not the best introduction to anime. But if you're already a fan, wipe that pocky dust off on your wall scroll and get your hands on Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba, the movie Mugen Train, the dubbed version. But don't worry, we watch it with subs too. Promise. Check out the anime sensation that everyone and their husband bought a ticket for that not only saved the Japanese box office, but had the biggest U.S. opening for a foreign film ever and confused the s*** out of anyone who wandered in to see what the fuss was about. Come on, look, I'll give you these sparkly acorns. Though to be fair, that's like making Age of Ultron your first Marvel movie. Okay, see, Thor's using his magic dream jacuzzi to recover a vision of the Infinity Stones and, uh, you know what, never mind, just, just watch the punching. Pop aboard the Mugen Train, a direct continuation of the Demon Slayer series. So it will not slow down to explain who this veiny narrator is, why the hero keeps a small child gagged in his backpack, or why his friend looks like the cover of a romance novel written by pigs. I'm wearing the hide of the mountain god on my head. Oh, he's just a guy wearing a severed boar head. That makes more sense. Very slightly more sense. But series fans will instantly recognize this colorful cast of characters, like Zenitsu, a Pikachu you'll want to slap instead of hug. Inosuke, the series' own Sundere, which is the anime term for more than one character trait. <gasps> and Tanjiro, the saintly protagonist, literally a perfect human, great kid, and you just know he makes sure to smell nice too. His scent is overwhelming, but I can smell him just barely. There's a faint scent of demon on it too. The demon scent is getting stronger by the moment. He smells the most like Kibutsuji. I can smell that Nezuko's hurt. And I can smell he has a strong sense of justice. Together, they'll board a train full of powerless losers who don't even have a cool haircut so you can safely ignore them and team up with Ren Goku, a samurai Guy Fieri who's become one with the flame broiler and now runs the toughest dojo in Flavortown. He's ultra powerful, pure hearted, and loves to eat. Tasty! So if it helps your memory to just call him Goku, I say roll with it. Are there demons to slay aboard this Mugen train? I'm gonna level with you. There are. There are several. Like Enmu, a demon with the power to put the audience to sleep with hour-long dream sequences, who rides the line between upsetting and hilarious by having sick, frightened children do all of his dirty work. <laughs> Nap time, orphans! Then, just when you think the Mugen train has fully gone off the rails, middle management demon Akaza shows up with a burning desire to f*** Rengoku. I, I mean, seduce Rengoku. I, I mean, fight Rengoku. Yeah, fight. That's what he wants to do. I can tell just by looking at you that you're strong. We could spar with each other endlessly. What a magnificent attack! Such skilled movement! What unbelievable strength! That ironclad stance! Those reflexes! Brilliant! You haven't reached your peak yet! Keep your eyes on me. We'd be able to f*** each other for the rest of eternity! Kiss, kiss, kiss! So don't worry if you get lost, because you can get the gist of Demon Slayer if you've seen any other shonen anime. The good guys have the big eyes and neon clothes. The bad guys are all pale pretty boys and or tentacles. There's some kind of rigid power level hierarchy. Was it really an upper rank demon? Everyone screams the names of their attacks out loud. Water Super Slash! A third force! Blazing Universe! There's always a secret reserve of power you can unlock on the brink of defeat and the predictable death of the protagonist's mentor that still somehow works, because damn, if Goku doesn't go down like a champ, what a fighter. He even made his mom proud. It's just so noble. I'm not crying, you're crying. <laughs> Everyone's crying. Even that bird is crying. Wait, why is that bird crying? So get ready for one anime-ass anime. And if you have a tolerance for that sort of thing, this is one of the better ones, because it looks absolutely amazing. Most of the humor survives the cultural gap. And there's an extended sequence where the hero learns to quickly chop his own head off in his dreams to wake up long enough to chop the head off a demon train and get saved from accidentally chopping his head off for real by a friend who wears the chopped off head of the boar who raised him. Never change, anime. Never change. Starring Crash Ketchum, Anxiety, Charlotte's Weed. What's in the box? What's in the box? Lion O. And. <laughs> Demon the Tank Engine's Big Adventure. You wanna bet on a naked boar man fighting a psychic child in his dreams? Mugen Train.